Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be looking at a very important concept in JavaScript how to merge different properties of different objects into one resultant object. So I will be showing in this video how to do this. So it will be there inside pure JavaScript, we will not be using any sort of library. So just make your uh, index.html file, so I will give a title merge properties of different objects into one object so for that we will be using three methods i will show you one by one by example then just include your script.js file so in the same directory make a script.js file so this will contain all the business logic of the application so for all the source code i have written all the three blog posts on my website i have given the link in the video description this is the first blog post which shows you the spread operator which is used to merge property of two objects or you can also merge multiple objects as well and secondly we will use object.assign so all the source code will be there inside video description I have given the link of both the blog posts in the video description so let's start the video so here what we will do here we will merge properties properties of two objects so first of all I will take two objects you can take any sort of objects as you want so if you don't know about object guys in JavaScript, object is a complex data type which contains various data types such as string, number, arrays, all that stuff. So we will declare first object, let's suppose person1. And in order to declare an object here, what you need to do is that you need to put a set of curly brackets. So inside this, your field goes here, which is let's suppose name. I call it John here and the comma, then we have age. So this will numeric value 45 and uh, also we can have subject as well which is computer science and if I have an array as well so hobbies array so this will be a array of values here so we can provide here driving swimming so there are two values out there so you can also contain a object as well so marks so as you will see this is a complex data type here which contains numeric value arrays and also object as well so I have declared this first object here so similarly we can copy this and clone this so I can call this as person2 so I can change the name to Latham and I can change the age to 47 I can then change this to English so rest of the things remain constant so what you need to do is that uh, the important thing to keep in mind is that while merging the different properties of different objects these field names doesn't need to be remain same so so if it remains same it will overwrite the object so we need to change the names as well so age one name just add one here so that the properties are different so just make it two here like this so now these are two different objects having different properties now we need to merge it like inside one object so first of all we will use the spread operator so spread operator is very much useful while merging arrays you can also merge objects as well using this so you need to call person tree the resultant object and then a set of curly brackets and then dot 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 this is a spread operator you need to call person1 comma dot 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 person2 that, that's it so this will conca concatenate and merge all the properties which are there in person1 and person2 and it will store it inside person3 so now to cross check you can console log or what we can do is that we can show this on browser so we can attach a div here give it an id of result so now we can get this result variable by document dot get element by id so similarly we can just show this by result dot inner html and initialize it to person 3 so if i reload the application what you will find is that it is saying person 2 is not defined so we need to make sure that oh sorry this needs to be person not and is missing so so
so it is not showing the complete object so what we need to do is that I think we need to surround this as JSON parse uh, I think we need to use json.stringify which will convert the object to string so let's suppose so now you will see it will display this object here name one is John age one 45 subject one so it is there in a single object here you will see the arrays is also concatenated you can see here name to subject to hobbies to marks to so this is contained inside a single object so we have successfully concatenated or merged properties which are contained inside different object into one resultant object using spread operator I have shown you the first example now I will show you the second way to do the same thing so the second way is quite different which will be using object.assign method to do the same thing to merge properties of different objects so this will be person 3 once again we declare the resultant object variable and now we will use object.assign method and here we need to pass the first argument as empty object put a comma and then you need to pass the objects that needs to be concatenated person 1 comma person 2 so you will see it is now we just need to display this result here in our HTML person 3 I need to concatenate here json.stringify person 3 so now you will see it will display the same result once again it has concatenated or merged properties which are there inside different objects and it has merged it in inside a different object which is person 3 so this is the second way by which you can achieve the same thing if you want to get all the source code you can refer to the video description link I have given all the source code here which it will find step by step way so you will find all the source code so now I will show you the third way by which you can do this which is by using json.stringify and json.parse so these two methods we will concatenate we will use it in parallel to achieve the result so first of all we will make person3 variable and uh, we will use json.parse and inside this we will use json.stringify and we will pass the first object which is person1 and we will concatenate by using plus operator here and then json.stringify once again person2 so now if you just uh, display this result so if I just say person 3 I once again need to convert to string here so we will use json.stringify and convert to st string so if I just display this result here you will find um, I think we need to call json pass here so json pass so I think in my second blog post the source code is available so if you want to get this you can just simply copy this so you will see let me just copy this and explain to you So we are calling third variable as object merge then we are using json.stringify so here we need to replace person1 and we are using plus operator to concatenate all the objects and their properties so here we will pass person2 so then we are using a regular expression to replace these uh, by commas here for valid json and then we are displaying it so now if I result dot inner html
So now you will see it will display the same result once again. It has concatenated all the properties into a single object. So in this way you can concatenate or merge different properties of different object into a single object by using these three techniques that I've shown you. If you have any sort of doubt you can comment on this video. Please like the video as well and I will be seeing you in the next video.